Our next step in the process is to set up our payroll preferences. Let's come here under Edit, Preferences, and let's scroll down to Payroll. Come over here to Company Preferences. Here, we need to turn payroll on or off. For basic payroll, which is what we're going to be cover, covering, we want full payroll features. If we were using one of the other two choices, we would select Integrated Outsource Payroll. Or if we simply wanted to turn payroll off, if we're not going to be using it, select this. Over here, we can choose to, to display our employee list either by first name or last name. We're comfortable with first name because we don't have more than one employee with the same first name. Down here, we tell QuickBooks what to print when we print payroll checks. Addresses, sick and vacation information, and the pay period in the check memo. Here, we can select this choice to hide the pay rate. And down here, we have a couple of choices we want to look at. Print employee list, one per page. Let's click this. We're going to come back to this in just a moment. Report all payroll taxes by customer job and service item. This is a great feature within QuickBooks that allows you to more closely track customers, jobs, and service items because it will take payroll taxes and assign them to a customer job or service item. Now, let's come back to the one employee list per page. Let's click OK here and let's run an employee list. Here, let's come down and select Print List. And let's choose Preview. Let's zoom in a little bit. And you can see how this summarizes information for each employee, one per page, based on our setting back in Preferences. This is an excellent sheet to include in the employee file.